Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to work on the house some more. Um, so, first of all, let's go talk to the collector, uh, because we just finished, if you didn't uh, see the last episode, uh, we finished the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls, and uh, I haven't actually talked to the collector since then, so let's talk to him and see what happens here. He sees dead people. Okay. Uh, bones buried under the sands of time. So now he's basically telling us to go uh, to uh, the Kendall Waste Hollow Halls and then raise them further. Glide, gather, gain. Glide is the key word there <laughs> because gliding is a thing in the Kendall Waste Hollow Halls for sure. Uh, all right. So we have everything we need to make the bone key. Let's do that now so I don't forget. And we now have the greater ectoplasm soup. Um, but we need to make a greater ectoplasm and we can now make the, uh, necromancer skull, uh, summoning vessel, but we have quite a few of those already. We got the throne in the last episode, the bone throne there. That's a comfort of five. I don't know if we would get credit for that though, because we already have the other throne in place. So we'll have to kind of see how that goes. I like that large crypt table. That's cool looking. Save your soul. Uh, yeah, okay. So, let's see here. We need to make greater ectoplasm in order to make that soup. Uh, torn cloth, charcoal, and ectoplasm shards. Okay, so let's grab... Let's grab these. That's just normal. I probably made more of that than I should have. Grab a couple thingies of torn cloth and a stack of charcoal. Now to make the soup, we need one ectoplasm. Okay, so I think I just want to make 10 of those. So let's go here. Let's go to greater. And we make 10 per thingy. Okay. So we just need 10 of these then. Cool. Okay. That will take care of that. I don't want to uh, use any more of these shards than we absolutely need to because they're kind of precious. And I didn't, I guess we didn't need to put any of that stuff in there either. Okay, so we'll put the Nomad Highlands key and we'll put the Kindle Waste key in here for now until we're ready to use it. And then I'll probably forget it and have to come back. So that's the way these things work. All right, so. Let's see. What's what, what do we need to do next on the house? We have um, we have the basement. Uh, you know what? Let's just forget about the basement for now until we get the entire upstairs fixed. Um. So I think the first thing uh, this this area is actually in really good shape. Uh, the only thing that needs to be replaced in this room is the floor, and then of course we got to fix this and this. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I think, I think since we've already done this a few times now, um, I'm going to probably, maybe I'll do a time lapse to fix the rest of this because there's nothing really new that we're doing here. We're pretty much doing the same thing over again in... I don't want to keep showing the same thing. I know, you know, like some of you like to me to do this in real time and talk about what we're doing, but we've already done it, you know, many times. So it's just a matter of kind of doing the same thing over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record everything. I'm going to go through and, you know, clear all the crap out, fix the floor, fix the rest of the roof, fix the walls. And I'll probably just turn that into like a little montage for you guys with some groovy tunes. Um, and then when we're done with that, we'll, we'll see, uh, where we're at from there. Okay. So enjoy the montage.
All right, guys, we have uh, accomplished a lot of work on the house here. Um, pretty much the entire main floor and upper floor and roof area and most of the exterior, uh, you know, not counting this side, is finished. Uh, well, finished at least in terms of the repairs. Um, so let's just kind of take a quick look, see up here at everything. Man, it looks nice up here. Nice and clean and uh, nothing broken. No skeletons sitting around or anything like that. I think I I think I got all of the, you know, the broken stuff. Oh, it looks like we still have um, some flooring over here that needs to be replaced. I already put all my blocks away, so I'll have to do that later. But, uh, yeah, it's looking really nice up here. And uh, we even got the loft fixed up, and I put some bars out here on the balcony so we don't accidentally fall off. And, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, so the next uh, step as far as the repair process goes is to work on the on the basement and uh, get the, you know, get the rest of the exterior of the house uh, repaired, too. So what we have to do is we have to dig all of this shit out of here. And that will definitely be uh, an off-camera thing. Uh, it, at least the most of it, you know, for the most part it will be. And then I was thinking over here on this side of the house, I had, you know, built these these stairs out this way. But I think I'm going to turn them and have them run up that direction, you know, alongside of this, this wall and go down that way. And then just, you know, turn left to get inside because that way, you know, then it's not sticking out so far this direction. Um, so yeah, we still have a lot of cleanup, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, cleanup work to do here. Um, let's pop one of these real quick so we can kind of see what's going on. Um, yeah, all that crap's got to be taken out. Anything down here that's, you know, broken, clutter, like this is, this is all broken here. Uh, we'll clean all that stuff up, get all the dirt dug out, replace the floor with blocks that don't, you know, that doesn't have grass growing through it. And that will probably conclude the repairs on the house. And then we'll just kind of have to kind of figure out how we're going to, um, you know, situate everything and decorate everything. Um, the, the idea all along has been that most of our, our um, NPCs, you know, live in the house. So they'll all have their own quarters. Um, the exception to that would be... Uh, Balthazar and maybe the collector because the uh, the the grand plan was to and, and maybe still is uh, <clears throat> to remodel the church and <coughs> squeeze me and turn it into a uh, a wizard's tower but you know what what might be cool is you know down below in the church is the crypt uh, with hollow in it and that would actually be a good place for the collector he'd probably feel right at home in a place like that uh so maybe what we do is we we change the downstairs for the collector to live in and then you know the upstairs part turn it into a tower for the wizard uh so that's that's like i said that's a long-term plan what i'm what i've been thinking about as far as that goes too by the way is you know we'll keep uh, I'll, I'll keep this save going and um you know as as they come out with new you know major updates we can just kind of pick up from here with this character and in fact i have two fully leveled characters well three if you count the multiplayer character but that character i'll probably just keep exclusive to multiplayer um and we can just pick up from here because i don't i don't know that i want to start all over from scratch again you know because i've essentially done that three times now i've done it twice in single player and once in multiplayer so i think moving forward um, you know, this is all, this is all subject to change, of course, but I think moving forward, whenever they come out with an, a new big update, unless it's a situation where we have to start over, which gosh, I hope that doesn't happen. Um, you know, we'll just pick up where we left off with these characters and keep going and, you know, continue working on the place too. So anyway, that, that's, that's kind of what's in my mind to do that. Um, just because, again, all the building and stuff is just a long-term project. And um, if we just do it, you know, a little bit at a time here and there, uh, as as we continue, you know, this series on into new updates and stuff like that, you know, then I think we'll eventually be able to accomplish it and it'll, it'll look cool. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I like to build, but 
Yeah. It's not my favorite thing to do. I'm, 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 I like to get out there and adventure and, and, you know, combat and, and that sort of thing much more than I like to build, but I do want to do some building too, cause it is part of the game. Um, and so, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that montage and, you know, we'll probably do some more of those as time goes on, you know, with, with these big building projects. And, uh, so the tentative plan for the next episode is for us to go out and, uh, uh, oh, and go do Kendallways. I, I think we're ready to do the Kendallways Hollow Halls. I mean, there's not really much more I can do to prepare my character. He's got, you know, S-tier gear, and we've got maxed out points. And unless there happen to be, you know, uh, some more hidden routes on the map that we haven't hit. But um, if there are, they're not apparent, to, you know, to me. Um, there's a couple of... Yeah, that's the hollows there. There's a couple of, you know, quests that we could knock out too, just just to do it. Oh, the, yeah, the dragon cave. You guys told me to do the dragon cave. And so that that's something we'll do in an episode. I don't know what that involves, know nothing about it. I've just been told that it's really good and worth doing. So we'll check that out too. And, you know, if we happen to stumble across some more routes, that would be good. I, I did notice myself kind of running out of stamina a little bit in those boss fights in the... Uh, in the Highlands Hollow Halls. So it definitely wouldn't hurt for us to, you know, get a little bit more stamina. <laughs> like this rebound would be good, but that's four points. Um, so yeah, I, I, I kind of doubt there's four more hidden routes on this map. I mean, maybe there is, <laughs> I don't know, but there just isn't really anything that I want to give up, you know, that we, that we currently have if we did a respec. So we'd have to find four more hidden routes in order to get this. And that's probably not going to happen. But, you know, if we find one more point, we could at least up our endurance a little bit. So we'll just kind of, you know, see how that goes and, and play that by ear, so. Isn't that, uh, what's the difference between this one and this one? Maybe they're the same thing. This is just the, the version two. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, yep. Yeah. That is it for this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.